and welcome to this week's Audit Tuesday. Today, we're thrilled to have Muli Matola, the CEO and co-founder of Accents. Accents meets a gap that most IEMs do not meet. Greetings, Muli. Hi, Ashley. Happy so first, here. thank you for coming. I appreciate it. So first, Muli, please tell the audience a little of what you build and offer at Accents. Yes. Um, so. Um, I'm happy to be here and um, I'm happy to speak about the challenges that uh, customers are facing with I modern IAM, um, while Accents is actually a, a solution that was built in order to help improve the resilience of these platforms and eliminate uh, them being a single point of failure in the modern organization. And what in the marketplace spurred you and your team to offer the solution? Well, uh, I was um, in my past um, uh, service integrator for um, solutions such as uh, Okta and uh, um, other IAM vendors, and working with hundreds of uh, clients, uh, building the um, architecture and uh, facing extreme growth, especially in the days of the COVID. And we found that um, uh, as the IAM is very uh, stable solution, uh, we found that it's a bit fragile when being manipulated um, from the administrator aspect. Um, that uh, made, us, made us think that when you're approaching an enterprise, uh, it has certain uh, managerial uh, capabilities that are required as the minimum in order to onboard a new system and a new tool. <clears throat> and IAM has become a very critical tool in the infrastructure. It's actually the gateway to all the company resources. So um, having a, a tool like an IAM that uh, is um, hard to maintain and control the changes <clears throat> and the data within that tool made us think that uh, we need to have some kind of um, uh, security and protection layers on top of it. And what has been the reaction from customers of your solution? So um, when we first introduced um, the product, the customers were quite surprised that they need a product like that. Um, we had to uh, work with them step by step, explaining um, something which um, for a SaaS vendor is quite uh, obvious, but for the SaaS customer apparently is not so obvious. And that is called shared responsibility model. Um, it's sometimes also called shared security responsibility model, but it's the same. Um, that's the actual uh, dividing of uh, uh, responsibilities between the customer and the cloud provider around uh, the, the, uh, the aspects uh, of uh, managing the product. So um, in general, SaaS vendors, they state that um, they are responsible for the platform and its security. That may, may mean uh, the physical uh, security, even the performance and scalability of the platform, whatever is relevant to the platform itself. But what they state, which is outside of their responsibility, is the data configuration and settings and any other customization that the customer made within the platform. So it's quite um, easy to differentiate between the security and availability of the platform and the security and availability of the data within the platform. And in that case, we see a major gap from educational perspective and from customer understanding of the responsibility. And that was something that we were approaching in the past uh, two years. So the customers love their IAMs, but understand that the solution can provide all their functionality. Is that correct? Yeah, they, uh, they are in a bit of a misconception here. Um, and um, I think that um, latest um, breaches and the fact that um, gangs are manipulating customers by trying to, uh, um, to use misbehavioral or misconduct or mismanagement, even from fractional things uh, into a breach, um, makes a bit more 
uh, consequence uh, in consequences that the customer understand that they have more responsibility around that. Um, most of the recent breaches that we've seen in the IAM are 100% focused around uh, phishing and social engineering, which means that the vendor, he has very little to do. And they are trying to, to make a lot of changes in order for that not to happen, either to have passwordless, for example, or improve the workflows and, and processes, and even the, the governance around whatever going on within the platform. Um, but that's not enough because a hacker, if he sees a lucrative target, he will go there with full strength and he will utilize your weakest uh, point. So Garrett, that's pretty much the same experience you had with in introducing an IGA plugin to the IAMs, right? Absolutely. I love what Molly said. It's basically, you know, we all love the IAMs. I mean, it's a respect that both Molly and I have for the existing IAMs, why we built our platforms. We could have built our platforms and directed our talents and energies towards any, any type of product. But by integrating with the IAMs, we're both acknowledging that this is where real identity and identity concerns are being addressed. And in Molly's case, must be backed up and for resiliency and in you a test case it must be attested to both the identities and the policies of attestation and even when some of the iams added attestation you would have kept them as customers right yeah yeah it's it's the deep dive of what we're up to at you attest our product is 100 percent geared towards the concept of there is data, there is policy, there is identity data. How does one professionally and, and with eye towards governance and security attest to those? We've added things like multi-tiered attestation, pre-built email and Slack templates, multiple reviewers, notes, attachments, and able to take, this is what's really important because Molina and I's vision is the same. We see the IAM as a center of of the actions around identity and what we've done at you attest is say that that can be used to attest to the roles and permissions for audit and security of all resources so it is it is the way Molly and i both embrace the iam and then make it the central core of the identity identity policies that augment the value of the iam and why would customers like to do attestations of non-IAM resources with their IAM users? That's the users. That's where they have the users and the managers, right? The users are the managers. What they are quantifying to their auditor says, these are my users, these are managers. They should be the reviewers of all the resources. And that's why it works. And, and this is not hypothetical. We're doing hundreds and hundreds of thousands of these roles attestations for particular customers. Sounds great. Okay, let's wrap this up. So, Muli, what will Accents be doing to augment the solution in the future? Well, um, we'll try to provide a full resiliency platform to the IAM uh, infrastructure of the organization, uh, making it enterprise ready. Uh, our solution is a full stack enterprise solution, providing both data security and uh, ability to investigate uh, changes in the environment, manage the changes, and even revert them. Um, we also provide a full disaster recovery in cases where you lo lost access to the organization, which is, again, if breached with the super admin credentials, is just a decision of the attacker. So um, our mission is to allow you to gain back control, uh, even in cases where uh, it has been uh, uh, blocked and to expand that to the entire core and infrastructure of identity and access management because it serves such a critical um, aspect of the organization um, infrastructure. Great. And Muli, how can listeners contact you at Accents to learn more? So I urge everybody to enter the Accents website, accents.com. We had plenty of material around the recent uh, uh, breaches to IAM uh, systems, especially to provide help to customers that understand that they need BCP, DLP uh, uh, processes running within their organization. You can find a lot of materials 
that can help you kickstart this uh, process. And of course, uh, a very um, a bulletproof tool to actually onboard um, quickly and uh, keep um, uh, your mind peace uh, around um, being not in, in non-control situation, um, God forbid. Perfect. And then us at UATest, we can be reached at uatest.com or of course, just write us at info at uatest.com. Thank you so much for being here, Molly. I really appreciate your time. Thank you very much. I love being here. Thanks a lot, Molly. <laughs>